Today, I want to show you how to transform this image from day to night and make our subject's antlers glow with some magical stars. So if you're ready, let's do it. And of course, these images are in the description below if you want to follow along. So the first thing I want to do is duplicate this layer. I'm going to double click here and rename the layer night. So I know that this layer has been converted from day to night. To do that, we're going to go up to colors and select colorize. And let's choose a dark blue color. Here's the hexadecimal number I'm going to use. Let's grab our original layer again and duplicate it and move it up to the top. This time I'm going to name it select plus mask since that's our next step. And this is the hardest part of this tutorial. So we need to make a selection of our subject and his antlers here. And it took me roughly 10 minutes to make the selection. So I'm not going to bore you to death by having you watch me make a selection since I've done other tutorials on selections. I did use the foreground select tool to make the initial selection. And then I used my quick mask mode here to fine tune my selection. And I will have a link to the foreground select tool tutorial if you need to learn how to use that tool. So I'm going to cheat here because I've already made my selection with the original project that I did. And if I go to pass here, we can see I have my selection. Once I turn it on, we will see an outline, but I need to convert this path to a selection. And I'm going to show you how to do this in just a second. So I'm going to grab my pass tool here and click on the outline here. And then in the tool options, I'm going to choose selection from path. And once I select any tool and turn off this path, I will then see my selection. So make your selection and make sure you select the antlers and not inside the antlers right here. This is part of the background. All right. Now we're going to come over here and click right here to add a layer mask. And we're going to choose selection. And once we click add, we have our layer mask here based on that selection and our background has been removed. How cool is that? All right, let's deselect with command or control shift plus a. We're going to duplicate this layer now, right click on it and select apply layer mask so that we can remove the background without having the layer mask there. We're going to double click here now and let's call this curves so we can apply our curves adjustment to it. Let's go up to colors and click on curves. So right now our subject is still being lit based on the daytime lighting. So we need to make him darker to match our nighttime effect. So I'm going to drag my linear line here down to make him darker. So maybe right about there. And the other thing is daytime light tends to be more white to yellow and nighttime light, especially moonlight is more blue. So we're going to target our blue channel here and increase this linear line to add blue. Let's take a look at the before and after. And I think his color matches that nighttime effect much better now. All right, we're going to grab this layer again and duplicate this one and drag it above all the others. And now we need to make a selection of just the antlers and separate it from everything else. So let me show you how I saved a selection. First, we're going to select the layer mask, right click and select mask to selection. And that adds the selection back, of course. Now to save your selection, if you need to in the future for another project, you're going to go up to select and scroll down and click on to path. Then in your path panel, you're going to see your path right here. Now I'm going to go ahead and deselect here real quick. So what we need to do to add that selection back from here, if you don't have the layer mask is to first turn it on, grab your pass tool, click on that red outline and then in tool options, click on selection from path. Make sure you turn this off so you don't see that red outline and then you're left with your selection. Now to deselect, I'm going to use my free select tool 
in tool options under mode right here, you want to make sure you have this option turned on, which is going to subtract from the current selection or use your keyboard shortcut, which is control if you're on a PC or command if you're on a Mac. All right, so I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click on this part of the image right under the antlers and I'm going to draw underneath the antlers and around like this. And as I continue moving to the right, I will begin removing from that selection. I'm going to go back to the original spot until I see that yellow circle. Once I release, the selection is gone. Now, before we can actually add this to its own layer, we need to come over to this layer, right click on it and select delete layer mask. We're going to then add a new layer mask based on the selection. Then we're going to right click and select apply layer mask. And now we're left with the antlers. Go ahead and deselect with command or control shift plus a. Let's come down here and click right here to create a layer group. We're going to click and drag this layer into that layer group so that we now have a group of layers. Well, one at this time, but we're going to duplicate this layer. I'm going to call this antlers first. So let's duplicate it and call it glow one. And we're going to colorize our antlers now based on the color we want for the glow. So let's go back to colors and select colorize. And for the glow, I'm going to use this yellow color here. So go ahead and select that hexadecimal and type it in right there. If you want to use the same color, let's go up to filters now to add the glow by choosing blur Gaussian blur, and then double click right here and type in 20, click your tab key to update the Y axis here and click OK. So now I want to come up here to my modes and change the blend mode from normal to dodge. And then I'm going to drop the opacity down. So maybe right around 18 to 20 or something like that. Let's duplicate that layer. We'll call it glow two. We're going to change the mode back to normal. And then I'm going to increase the opacity of this layer to create more glow. So something like that, that looks pretty good. Maybe a little more. Now we need to add this glow to our subject because it should be reflecting or shining on his fur, right? So let's go ahead and collapse this layer group and let's select our curves layer here. Let's duplicate it. And the first thing we're going to do is colorize this layer. I'm going to call this golden. And we're going to go back to colorize and choose a new color. So I'm going to choose this orange color right here. We're going to click right here again to add a black layer mask so we can remove that edit. And then we're going to paint with white because black removes the edit, as you can see. And then when we paint with white, it's going to add the edit where we want it. So make sure your foreground color here is set to white. Grab your paintbrush tool with the letter P. And then in your tool options, you want to make sure that your opacity is set lower than 100. So I'm going to go right around 20. Then I want to paint along the edge or the top edge of our subject here, because that's where the glow is going to be, as well as it's going to wrap around and down our subject as well. But down here, it's probably not going to get the lighting from the antlers as much down here as up here. So I'm going to leave this alone and I'm going to paint and drag down to begin feathering the lighting. It's going to be less apparent here versus up here. So I'm going to start with a fairly small brush and I'm just going to paint along the top of his fur right here to get started. Now I'm going to release my mouse button and click and drag again, and it's going to make that area brighter. So again, this should be brighter since it's closer to the antlers. Now I'm going to begin painting by clicking and dragging down. So click, drag down, click, drag down. 
and I'm going to place the lighting or the highlighting where I think it should be placed on our subject. And I'm just following the highlighting that's already on him now to add this golden highlight. How cool is that? I love it. All right, so I'm gonna continue painting in different areas here. And of course, every time you click and reapply, it's going to make that area brighter. And if it's too bright in some areas, of course, you can paint with black to remove it as needed. So maybe just a little bit here, just a little touch, probably not there, maybe a little here, oh, probably not on the inside. So I'm gonna switch to black by pressing the letter X and I'm going to remove it because the glowing isn't going to be on the inside of his leg here. All right, let's look at the before and after. So that looks pretty good. Now, if you want to increase the intensity of the highlighting, all you have to do is come down here and duplicate the layer. Now, that's a little too intense now, so I'm gonna drop this down to 50. So that's just a quicker way of adding more highlighting without using your brush. So I'm gonna go with that right there. Now, at this point, I find the antlers to be too yellow and maybe I want them to actually be more golden. So what you can do is you can come back in here and select one of those glow layers. I'm gonna select the top one, glow two here. And I'm gonna go to colors, hue, saturation, and change the color to be more golden. So I'm gonna drag this to the left. So right there, I like that. And I think it matches the lighting on his fur a little bit better. I think the yellow was a little bit too bright. So let's take a look again here at the before and after. Yes, I like that color much better. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out with Command or Control, Shift plus the letter J. And now we're going to add some stars around his antlers and in this area right here. So we're gonna go up to File and click on Open as Layers. You're going to locate the stars file that you downloaded. You don't have to use this one. You can use any one that you want. Once you click open, it's going to be added as a new layer. It's inside of my layer group here. So I'm gonna click and drag that out. So it's above it. And we need to convert this blending mode from normal to screen. So it blends in. Now with your move tool, just press the letter M to grab it. If you click on this layer, you can then move it around to get the stars that you want. So I want less of this pinkish color here. We can always change that color, of course, with the hue saturation tool like we just did with the antlers previously. But I wanna reduce some of those colors as much as possible. So maybe right there, I could come up here, but I wanna add just a little bit because I do wanna change the colors a little bit. All right, let's add a black layer mask so we can remove the stars. Let's grab our zoom tool and click in a couple times to zoom in. We're gonna grab our paintbrush tool with the letter P again. I'm gonna increase my opacity this time to around 50. And then with white, you can begin painting in your stars. Now we do need to style these stars a little bit more so that it doesn't have as much glow or that pinkish color. I'm just gonna continue painting around right here. And then I'm gonna make my brush smaller so I can paint in some stars right here. I think I'm gonna add some more stars over here. And of course, if you increase the opacity slider, it's going to add in or add back those stars a lot quicker. Let's grab our thumbnail preview right here of that layer. And let's go up to colors and select levels. So I wanna clip some of the information for that image so I can reduce some of the glowing effect of the stars as well as remove some of that pink. So that helps make the stars a little bit brighter than they were before. And then we're gonna go up to colors and select hue, saturation, so we can change that pinkish color to a more golden color. So let's go to the right here. All right, so I think that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and zoom out with Command or Control, Shift plus J. And boom, you have your Golden Knight edit. How cool is that? I love it. Now, real quick before you leave, make sure you subscribe if you haven't done so already. 
and I would love to see your final edit. Make sure you check out our description below to find out more about our private Facebook group for photographers and editors. Thanks for listening and have an awesome day.